Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, how you doing? Good, man. That's Ep- good. Episode 13, eh? Episode 13. Um, <laughs> Our old setup's been lost, so... Yeah. <laughs> Can't help but notice you, um, you're wearing pretty much the same thing I am, man. Hey, why have you copied my fit, bro? I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Looks good, bro. Nice watch band, man. Thanks, man. Get that from? Nice watch band, too. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. A watch band. It is a nice jumper. Yeah, nice jumper. Mm. Yeah, nice jumper to you, too, mate, actually. Yeah, thanks, man. Dude, thanks. Sick microphone you're holding, dude. Man. That's a nice mic. It is phenomenal. <laughs> that is a nice mic. It is. We're on, buddy. We are on. I'll get us started. Absolutely. Abrupt and to the point. That was horrible. Yeah, but it was a horrible was episode cut. 13. Under. Bad number. It's not a great number. If it was Friday the 13th and we were filming this, I'd fully expect it to be bad. But it's not. Yep. It's not. <laughs> what the fuck is with your mic angle? I just feel... <laughs> Why is it perfect? It's not actually that bad. No, nah, but the way the mic works, you want to talk in the end of it. That's the way they work. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah, better? Is that, like, is that oh, work you for you? You're biting a corner fucking cop, mate. Yeah, corn on well, the cob? Corn on the cob? Is that, is that better cob? for you? Corn on or corn off? Is it, how do you say it? Or corn on the cob? Corn, corn of the corn cob. On the cob. Corn, corn on the cob? Yeah. Cob loaf. I don't think I've had cob loaf before. I'm not a big fan. I don't know what the rage is. Everyone's like... <laughs> <laughs> you just flip the fucking table. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What it, I, I haven't what tried it. Mic stands, bro? What's going on here? We need some more mic stands, man. Yeah. Well, I told you... Amazon Australia didn't have them in stock. Amazon doesn't have anything in stock. I wanted to go to DJ. They're fucking useless at the moment. I wanted to go. There's a store in Perth. Seriously. I don't know why you're figuring that out, man. But uh, look, we've actually forgotten the alcohol of the hour. So that kind of comes down to we just haven't had the time. Somehow Shit's on a four-day yeah. four long weekend. Well, two out of those four time. days, the bottle, bottle shop's been closed. Unless we want to review a Corona, you know? Just but quickly, mate. Fit's looking fresh. Got looking some- good. Some beige pants, bah. Nike Dunks, nice brown jumper. I'm liking yeah. the neutrals. Yeah, we got I've brown. gone for the all brown. We've gone for the brown Besides and brown. the cream hat. Can't even see the difference between your skin tone and you. That's your fit, it, mate. I'm just naked. <laughs> all This is all of me. Is that camouflage? Bask in it. Mm. Enjoy the scenes. Yeah. No, um, we yeah. We did a bit of a spend spree today, didn't we? We did, but it's all right. You know, sometimes you got to treat yourself, especially when... You've, yeah, exactly. You, yeah, just especially. Yeah. Um, four day weekend, man. What did you get up to during the week? During the week? Yeah. I mean, four day weekend Fuck we all. spent together. So just work, work, man. Mm. Work in gym. Yeah. Still hate the gym, by the way. I. Like, I can't think of anything worse. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth me taking a week off or just training through it. Okay. Maybe a bit of like a week to refresh. Yeah. Because at the moment, I, I literally can't think of anything worse than going to the gym. When I wake up every morning and that alarm goes off, my question to myself is why? That's what I'm struggling with. Why am I training? I don't know if it's because at the moment I'm not happy with how my body's looking. So at the moment, I'm not seeing the visual benefits of training, but I'm not also training towards... I mean, I hit a PB bench the other day, 140. Yeah. But did it feel plate. like shit? In terms of like... Did you feel... Like, I've been working towards three plates for a long time. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the actual PB would have felt good. But the whole session as a whole... Well, we literally rocked up after carding. Yeah. Did one warm-up set, and we're like, nah, fuck hitting chest tonight. Then and then I was like, all right, one reps. Yep. Yeah. So ego lifted, got my PB, took it down, and then I uh, trained biceps and triceps for about, what, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then left. Yeah. And then we went today and hit chest and shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much been... Still got it done, but... It's just not great. It's just not good. Really I don't know what it is. It, I, legit... I don't know what the fuck's yeah. going on. I might need to jump on a cycle. Maybe. That'll make me enjoy it more. 100%. Actually seeing results for a change. Yeah. That'd be great. Well, those guys today... This is going to... Sorry to interrupt the... Mate. How are we? Oh. All mates in the gym today. Now, one of them looked like an Aldi version of C-Bum, which mm. you called... Initially... Full respect to the man. Yeah. yeah he looked good. Well, I wouldn't say he looked good. He looked nothing wrong with him, right? Yeah. The other guy looked like your typical gym bro. That's he looked like, like a Roy, like covered in tats, bald with a stringer on, red. I don't know what Nikes they were. Either they were TNs or mm. Air Max 90s, mm. red. Um, big, massive no-no. 
mm. for me in the gym, it's fucking gloves. I cannot yeah. stand anyone. Girls, maybe. If you're going to wear like a stringer or, you know, that sort of like outfit and then you opt to wear gloves, like you kind of just... <sighs> fucking seriously, bro. Get your fucking, get your life in order. Because mm. you can't be one side of the scale looking like a roid munching, roid munching gym bro. And then wear gloves, you can go home and stroke your boyfriend's back with your fucking baby I know. soft hands. I know. Absolute hypocrite. Yeah. I just can't stand it. Like, I had a couple of people I know that once wanted to train with me. Found out they wore gloves and I refused to train with them. Because I'm not, I just can't be seen in the gym with someone that wears gloves. It's instant, yeah. you're a beta male. Yeah. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you lift more than me. You wear gloves, you're a beta male. Learn to love the calluses. Yeah, it's part of the, part of the game, mate. In fact, women love it too. Mm. Yeah. But these two, super setting across three machines for the whole time we were there. Over an hour. An hour for three separate exercises, two of which were the exact same because yep. it was cable flies and pec deck. And yep. I'm like, you're doing the same exercise. Exactly the same. And like, it's fine if you're supersetting, but one, it was for an hour. Two, it was a packed gym. Yep. Three, it looked like you had a pretty rude confrontation with one of the guys who asked <laughs> if the machine was being used. Yeah. And you can forgive him for thinking it wasn't being used because no one was there. Mm. So... You know, like, as I said, I'm all for supersetting and shit, but you got to kind of know your time and place and not take up three machines. For an hour. For an hour. Over an hour. It's fucked. And I'm like, I'm sitting there and I'm just like, almost putting the work in. And like, obviously, mad, like, we're not perfect. I don't like my body at the moment. Mm. But do a proper exercise, man. Cable flies and pec decks are an accessory movement. Do an actual heavy like a yeah, pre fatigue of like a compound. And yeah, then like a it. dumbbell was, yeah. or a flat bench. Not f- an hour and a half on accessory flies, and lap pull downs, and then random lap pull downs in there to then jump over to a plate loaded pink line, a plate loaded chest press, and yeah, do a pr- chest press first. Yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird. Order. You I know what? You know what? Fucking angry. I'm it was it was aggravating. Um, Fuck my work up because we wanted to get it done quick. Obviously, yeah, it didn't happen. But um, did not happen. Yeah, that was a bit of a sidetrack. Yeah, I mean, other than that. Fucking, as we said, we went karting. Like, three times. Three times. Weekend. Went down to Bunbury. Um, mm-hmm. you, you got to know that track for the first time. Three tracks in three days, mate. Good good track. It's not bad. It's, I don't mind it, actually. It's different. I can see it being an absolute clusterfuck on a race day, though. Yeah, it's a crash fest. I feel like if you get to the front of the pack, though, you're actually kind of on the pace at the front, you're chilling. It's pretty hard to be smashed into, except for that last corner. And that hairpin a couple of corners before then. Are we talking about the the on the long track the yeah sharp yeah because right every because it's a pretty fast track which means you can't really outbreak someone to the point where you're smashing into them unless you deliberately like purposely just late breaking late and fucking them up. So if you're at the front and you're quick, then you you're pretty good. I feel like there'll be some dives down in turn one, off yeah. the straight down. Into or you in turn two, yeah. Turn one's the flat out right, because the back the yeah, that's pitched, what I'm talking about. There wouldn't be anyone diving flat. You don't out. reckon there's anyone diving off the straight? No, one. bro. Bullshit. That is dumb. Hundred percent gonna happen. Either way, that's a pretty. You can take that corner pretty wide and still hit stay on the track. Hmm. But either way, so you got to learn that, and you yep. look good. You look good. And then what? The next day was well. Friday we went. No, Friday was Coburn. Coburn. We got and like what two practice sessions? One and a half. Yeah. Yeah, Saturday, Bunbury, Sunday, Wanneroo. Yep. My engine seized. That was mint. Fuck twice. It. I don't know how an engine seizes twice, but it seized twice. Just yep. driving around the around one of the corners. It just turns off, and yep. I'm just rolling off the... And I'm just getting laps in, like... Yeah, getting just in, chilling. And every time I come around the corner, I'm like, same space, he's off again. Dead, same place. Dead set. Yeah. I'd... And then, so, you know, we fixed it. We thought it was a foul spark plug or whatever. Um, t- it started. It started struggling again, to suck did. air in. So I was like, maybe it's flat battery or spark issues and change the spark plug. And it worked. Naturally, it probably started because we'd already pre-flooded the car with fuel. But, um, and it worked mint. And then we started in pit lane. Worked. Drove around for a lap and a half. Mm-hmm. Mint. Slammed the brakes <laughs> on. And my car turned off again. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. I remember coming around that second time at seas and I just seen your face and I was like, oh. Yeah. I just refused to believe it because we just rebuilt the top end. Yeah. So I was like, it, every single part of me logically was like, my engine's just gone. 
And I'm like, I'm not going to lie, that first time on the stand when we were cranking it and no fuel was getting sucked down, I was like, that's what mine did with a cracked hole, like cracked piston, yeah. no compression to suck. Yeah. And I was like, nah, no way. Ain't no way. We just rebuilt it. I know. And, yeah. and then <laughs> we took off the exhaust and had a look and fucked. It was scraped. It was. Might actually, if I get time and editing, I'll insert a photo for anyone that if wants anyone to cares see what, what it looks like to see. Like. Yeah, you'll see. Right there. Be right, right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. But um, if not, we just look like. Dickheads. Might even insert the video of it turning off as well. Yeah, we can. Might do. insert the video of me going for a cross country trip as well somewhere here. Why not? From Bunbury. Why not? If can not, we we'll put it all that. together in an actual YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. We sh- we will yeah. do that. We'll do a little compilation. We go, we, if we race Bunbury, we'll vlog it. Yeah, hundred percent. I feel um, like we should diversify a bit. We should, because it's fun. We enjoy it, mm. and I feel like it's a niche market. Um, there's not a lot of karting YouTubers that actually document setting up the kart, full race weekends, getting there, yeah. racing, going no, home. It's, it's pretty unique. Not in Australia, anyway. Yeah. So no, like, and there'll be, a, there'll be a few people in the... A few people who listen to it are keen on it. So, yeah. and you know, naturally over time, other people will be interested. Yeah, but other than that, we're karting, seize up. Saw my girlfriend a couple of times, and then that's pretty much been the weekend. Mm. Other than that, we had a little visit from Stuart Little. Uh, <laughs> what? Yesterday now. So yesterday... Stuart Little. Yesterday, I opened my cutlery drawer. There's no cutlery in it, because it was all in dishwasher. Um, but I was looking for scissors, because I was going to cut myself a singlet. Yep. About to go to the gym with you. Mm-hmm. I opened the drawer, and... I, I, I just closed it again, because I was like, well, there's no scissors in there. And, and I, was like, I was like, hang on. I was like, hang on a second. Surely I didn't just see a mouse in that fucking top <laughs> drawer. So I, I opened the drawer again, and lo and behold, <laughs> still little there's like Stuart Little red, sitting red there in, about the in the knife slot. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was screaming. I was like, holy shit. And Wade's like, what? And I'm like, there's a fucking mouse in our drawer. And he's like, kill it. And I'm like looking at the ma- looking at the drawer and looking at him. Or like looking at, into the direction because he's in his room. I'm like, you kill it, man. And I'm like, <laughs> I want to do it. So I opened a drawer up and I had two bags in my hand. Like I double bagged myself. So what I was going to do is going to... You're going to grab it with a bag. Grab it. Yeah. So then, didn't you know, whatever. Grab you it. See how quick those motherfuckers are? Yeah. Well, yeah. I opened the drawer. You saying bolt, motherfucker. This motherfucker leaps behind yeah. the top drawer. Yep. So I'm like, oh, he's dropped down a drawer. Mm-hmm. So I take that first drawer out, put it outside. Second drawer, I can't see anything. But I see that there's actually space behind the drawers. And I'm like, hmm. Gonna need your help with this man. Like, if this runs out, like, I need you to stop it or something. <laughs> so Just quickly. Yeah. Nothing like a mouse to turn a bunch of grown ass. Bro, men you, you know when you see those stereotypical videos? Yeah, you see those stereotypical videos of like a guy. Not stereotypical, but just funny videos of guys like screaming like a bitch. Boy. <laughs> so anyway, take the second drawer out, put it on the floor. Yep. Take the third drawer out, put it on the floor. Fourth drawer out, put it on the floor. Not outside though. Just on the floor. the floor. Oh, okay, in the kitchen. And there's nothing in where the drawers were left. And yep. I was like, well, fuck, it's got to be in one of these drawers. Mm-hmm. I'm checking pretty thoroughly and can't see anything. And then we go back to the second drawer, which has like all the utensils, which just quietly, top drawer, cutlery, second drawer is like utensils yep. and shit. Third drawer, um, random, like just, who knows? Fourth drawer is tea towels. Yeah. So if you that lay it out, the, any that is the Australian way. Some to do people it, mate. put glasses in their fucking drawers. Fucking weird. No, that's, just, that's psychotic behavior. No, no, to no, no, no. In a no. Absolutely. Mental institution. Your glasses go in a cupboard. Yep. I remember one mate. I forgot who it was. Puts his glasses in the fridge. Is he all right? It's a weird place to put you. I mean, <laughs> empty glasses. Yeah. I could see a whiskey like glass. Like a nice maybe. cold glass. I understand maybe like cold glass, you know that sort of stuff. But that's a, that's pushing. Yeah, it, but I don't How know do them, fit- bro. It's too cold to drink, man. You put cold water in a cold glass, ain't that motherfucker ain't getting yeah, warm. It's hurting. That's hurting your hands. Yeah, glass, it's and it's always, not always. Most of the time, I would put the glasses in the cupboard next to the drawers. But some people put it like, some people put it on like a top shelf and all that sort of stuff. But I typically go cutlery. Um, like cooking utensils and yep. shit and then I guess if you don't have like a drawer underneath your oven you'd maybe put like your chopping boards and stuff in the third one we go cutlery cooking utensils but because mum does a lot of baking the one down there yeah so like your baking stuff and yeah and scales and crap like that bottoms like your tea towels yeah tea yeah. towels always in the drawers in, yeah. in your kitchen and if then you're not- depending on how your, your kitchen's set out because our kitchen where we're renting has a dishwasher next yep. so you can't put cups there but 
I would put glasses there. <clears throat> Just we thing. don't have top tr- glasses, eat like cupboards, yeah. you know. So another thing that like we do differently in our house, I know no like no one that I've ever talked to does. When you're hanging out washing, mm-hmm. we hang like underwear, socks, shorts, anything that gets folded on pegs. T-shirts, jackets, pants, anything gets fold like hung out to dry on a hanger. See, I do that in like the standing ho- white white horse. I think it's called the the standing clothesline. That's not in the wind because I put it on the fucking well. Our shit turns into a sail, brother. <laughs> Especially the one that we're renting at the moment's like a spinny one. So you put oh. like a. Yeah, it's it's taken off. Yeah, okay. I and then you see that. clothes in the rose bushes. But I did it at my mum's house. No one else you, I know does that. Me, like our family does. Me, my nan, like my aunties and stuff. I was only pretty Adam new to it because I remember bringing it up to you before, and I was I'm like, "I'm pretty sure I boys. told you." Yeah. You guys were like, "Why would you do that?" And I'm like, "You eliminate a nah, step." You said that to you me. Literally, put your shirt on a hanger. When it's dry, you grab it off and you hang it in your cupboard. Yeah, it Done. does make it easier. It's so now I use grab them all like this. You pick it off. Yep. Just take it and put it in your hanger. Yep. So good. It's mint. But I used to also fold some shirts back. Like yeah, mum and dad So then I was like But now I just hang everything up Yeah Shorts go in the drawers Yep And like that sort of stuff Trackies, drawers Yeah Dress pants Any any jeans, pants Hanging up Yeah Anyway Anyway, so, sorry um, We go rummage through this second drawer And he's got like a fucking little I don't know Like a ruler or something And I'm like Before you keep going Maybe we should take this outside And he's like Nah, nah It's not even in here, man Keep rolling it around, and this motherfucking Stuart Little <laughs> jumps out the drawer, and we both scream like absolute bitches and jump on the kitchen top, and we're like, holy fuck, and it runs behind the couches, and then obviously we're moving the fucking couches around, trying to find it, and it's going around, and we basically lost it, mm-hmm. and then we're dropping presumed off- dead at this point. Yeah, and we're dropping off, presumed dead. We're dropping off the trailer at, at Brad's, and I get a message from Wayne, he's like, bro, it's in my fucking room. <laughs> I've set out traps for it, like, I need you to come home, like, when are you coming home so we can catch this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> and he sent me a photo from him standing on his bed, like pointing down at these traps he's laid. So I come back, we try to find it, we pull the drawers out, and we can't find it. Just quote unquote, remember traps. Traps. Oh, I just right? remember it. So, yeah, and we couldn't find it. And we're like, fuck. Like, we just went through and checked all the open doors, couldn't find it. I made sure I checked my room before I like went to bed because I was like, maybe it's under my bed. Anyway, before we go to sleep, he's like, all right, I've laid a trap out. Where should we put it? Like, should we put it over there? And I was like, okay, cool. What'd you do? He's like, yeah, put some like peanut butter and shredded cheese. I was like, okay. So I guess they're like into that, whatever. I look and this fucking trap is just a bowl <laughs> with fucking cheese and peanut butter inside a box with nothing actually to trap it. This motherfucker's just feeding the mouse. <laughs> I'm going to come home the next day and fucking Master Splinter's going to be chaining <laughs> the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in my lounge room, bro. I was like, what the fuck, man? What are you doing? You're just feeding it. He set out a buffet for that motherfucker. Bro, literally. I actually didn't cross my mind because I was with you when la- all this was happening originally. And you're like, oh, way to put a bowl out with some peanut butter and some grated cheese. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like Not he's bad. trapping for the mouse. Yeah. No, it's just, 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 just a mixing bowl with shredded cheese and peanut butter. And I'm like, this man's just going to be like, yeah, mint, free food. Fuck yeah. Got to go eat it. <laughs> anyway, the next morning I'm tying my laces. I, I spot it. And um, I'm just tying my laces. And I see it going across the corner of my screen. And I'm like, well, my screen, my eyes. I was like, surely not. I look, and there it is, fucking bounding across, goes into the kitchen. I'm like, well, everything's closed. It's got to be there when I walk around this corner. I look around the corner, it's not there. And I'm like, can't. <laughs> I see a little crack in the cupboard. So I must have gone in there, yep. and I see on the other side of the kitchen. Those motherfuckers like, can fit through anything, bro. Bro, it's not even a big gap. It was like this big. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see the gap in the cupboard. I'm like, well, it's obviously gone in there, and there's another gap in the very last cupboard when you go around my kitchen. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I've got a plan. So I close the cupboard, <laughs> start booting every fucking <laughs> cupboard in like towards this opening, and it comes out the opening. It's kind of like staggering a little bit, and I have a fucking container in my hand, slam it down over it so it can't move, and it's still like walking around a little bit inside the end of the container. So I start to fucking oh. shake it backwards and forwards like this. <laughs> over and over again like I'm mixing well, how aggressively were we talking about? pretty bad like, it was we, like, like it hear, was just like you can hear the mouse go like <laughs> yeah, just, yes yes fuck off and then it's rolled you're over absolute dead. brutal you, cunt yeah and so it was, it's animal cruelty I don't know it's dead so then I, you know, <laughs> when shot. you I, yeah it's gone <laughs> so I killed it um, nah you didn't shake the cunt to death you shook the mouse <laughs> 
What else was I supposed to do, man? I don't know. If I took that container off and it, bl- it ran off again, like bro, a piece I'm of fucking. Paper or some cardboard under it and like carry I'm it passing away. Like if that runs out again, you shook it to death. Yeah, could have got some rat bait and put it in there, so it died. Poison, maybe poisoning would have been worse anyway. I don't know, bro. But initially, like, I actually can't believe you held the container with a live mouse inside and went <laughs> till it died. It sounds worse than it's you fucked. say it, man. Well, anyway, look. So that was that's that. Um... That was a bit of eventfulness to start the morning. <laughs> Nothing yeah. like a mouse or anything like in the to... fucking cutlery drawer, bro. Did you wash all your shit though? It was yeah, like it was all washed. No, after the mouse was in that drawer, you. Well, all... there's no cutlery in there. Oh. It was all in the dishwasher. Okay. So it must have gone looking for something, but there was no like food in the drawers. Wade's been baiting by having me nose. <sighs> Yeah, but I figured, I said to Wade, I was like, it'll come back to the kitchen because it's looking for food, like it's going to starve otherwise. Yeah. And lo and behold, first thing in the morning, I'm, yeah, time yeah, molasses, it's kitchen. back in the kitchen. I'm like, you Nothing like a, like a mouse or an insect to turn a grown man to a bitch, though. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. My balls went straight back up into my stomach for that. Like. It was pretty funny. As a man, you're meant to protect your other, yeah. your significant other. And I mean, I remember when my ex used to have shit in a room. I'd kill the spiders and crap, begrudgingly, because I yeah. fucking hate spiders. Yeah. Um, but this other girl I was talking to, she was mad about it. She loved insects and shit. The only thing she didn't like was like grasshoppers and crickets mm. and all that crap, because that shit jumps and flies at you. But insects and all that crap, she was chill with. And I'm sitting there like, get that motherfucker away from me. Yeah. I don't want to fucking look at that thing. Yeah, Jen, Jen's the same. Like, really? She was, up, she hates m- mice, but she was upset that I killed it. That's just. Yeah, they got a special. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, anything like that. Like, don't kill it. I'm like, you just asked me to catch it. I was walking around with an eight iron for Yeah, literally, mm. caress it as a guy yeah. at the door. <laughs> You're a good little dude. Oh, oh fuck, he's run off in the room again. Drop punt. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kind of. I remember when I used to go fishing. Yeah, I used to get blowfish. Oh my god. And, um, I remember once in the Mandra canals. Yeah. I caught a blowfish on my fishing line, and it like puffed. <laughs> Bro, before you continue, have you seen that video of that chef who's got the carrot with a blowfish? <laughs> exactly. <and> like, oh, oh. <laughs> like just choking it with yeah. the carrot. Oh, oh. We anyway, to, we used to pop this thing up. <laughs> I used to try to see if I could skim it across the wall. Oh my! Hit the wall on the other side. Oh my god! And then I'd wind the reel back in, and I'd be like. Pssst. Oh my god, bro! Fuck, people are gonna come at us. Eh? We uh, are getting found Peter, out in these comments. Wait, this is all jokes. Yeah, yeah. So that uh, was my week slash weekend. Ah, uh, funny. Yeah, uh, bit eventful. Um, um, I got something. Mm. It's just shit that's been happening to me during the week, and I'm gonna call a little segment. Josh's pet peeves. Okay. Okay, it's not like a big discussion topic, but it's just a few little things that yeah. happen. Only a few. Yeah. And I'm like. Other people have to feel the same way. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you, because you haven't seen these pet peeves, but I'm going to say, you still probably feel the wrath of these pet peeves. All right. Number one. I have, if I don't meal prep, I'll have like the My Muscle Chef meals. Mm. Gives me the shits when I put it in the microwave and the plastic film is being stuck on with Gorilla Glue. Oh, man. You cannot pull that shit you, off. You pull it and it just snaps. Like, snaps. before you can even pull it off. Or, well, you know, you You're can't sitting put there like, using your teeth. Oh, <laughs> and it's hot as fuck. Yeah, like, and you're burning yourself. And you know you can't put aluminium in the microwave? Yeah. You get, like, a, like a I don't know, whatever, and it's got an aluminium foil on the edge of it. Yeah. And it starts peeling, and you yeah. can't put the thing in the fucking microwave now. Who designs that shit? Yeah, it's fucked. My girlfriend... <laughs> Got given some uncooked fucking like my muscle chef meals and she took a photo and she did she like complained in the nicest way. She's like, Hey guys, really love your meals, like all this sort of stuff, but I just thought you should know, like I I, I grabbed one and it's just the cooked chicken's like uncooked. She sent a photo. She got like ten free meals out of it. But apparently she got it from like an IGA and apparently it's actually usually an IGA issue, not like a my muscle chef meal. Like that's a complaint that they said apparently she should have taken it to IGA. But they were like, you know, but due to the circumstances, blah, 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 we still like, we'll take this on board and we'll give you 10 free meals regardless. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, right. I was like, 
Interesting. I don't know how that's an IGA thing, but yeah, they cook like my muscle chef cooks the meals meal and delivers an IGA. How's an IGA, IGA is not going to go and be like mm, checking for each one. Put that in the oven. This one's uncooked. Yeah, yeah, weird. Seems but, I mean, like, ten free meals you take yeah. it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Number two. What else have we got? <sighs> All right. This is this is kind of weird. Showers. I don't know if it's when I'm late, tired, or whatever. I think I know but you're going the with thought this. of having a shower bro. gets me so fucking riled up. It makes me mad. I get angry, bro. I got home like unimaginably pissed off at the thought of like if I come home from a race meet, race meeting, nine thirty, ten o'clock. We got to Brad's. By the time we got home, eleven. And you just want to go to bed and pass out. But, but you go know home. your bed is fucked. you got to take that whole bed through a washing machine if you go and sleep yeah. in there. Oh, brother. Bro. I can't even be- begin to explain how angry I get. And it's always worse because I'll lay on the couch before I like do anything. I'll, I'll like come inside, put all my shit Tire in the laundry. Shit. And I'm lying on my, on the couch on my phone and I'm falling asleep. And, and you I'm tell like, yourself, don't lay down, just have a shower, get straight to bed. Yeah. No, and I'm falling never. asleep and I'm like, all right, I've got, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. I'm falling asleep. I get up and I'm like, got to have a fucking shower. Yeah. And it, oh, oh mate, <laughs> oh brother, because it's a chore, man. You got to stand up, you got to adjust the water so it's nice and warm. And then like you got to wash yourself, there, wash yourself, and oh. like usually you got to brush race, teeth. And... Usually after a race weekend, for example, because I remember that vividly how angry I was, um, because I've been wearing a helmet, I've been sweating, so I wash my hair, shampoo my hair, wash my body, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then I get out, put deodorant on, moisturize. Usually put a bit of hair treatment through. It is absolute. It's it's a at that stage it's a fifteen minute ordeal, mm. and it oh gets me going. Mm-hmm. Gets me going. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're on board with that one. Yeah, I am. Uh, this is. I reckon. I'm gonna make this. This is gonna be a segment we're gonna have every podcast. Okay. And we can obviously join in as yeah. well. I'm gonna just grab my coat, no sugar. But yeah, yeah, I'll be on the lookout. All right. This is this is a bit of a uh, interesting one. If I'm in a slightly, not even agitated mood, I'm just in a state where I want to get shit done. And we'll per se, there's two ways to look at this. You're either cutting corners to make it be quicker or it just shit happens. But you start dropping shit. You become incredibly clumsy. Like before, I'm trying to plug this in to plug the recorder into the PowerPoint. And if I just had to pull the couch out an extra inch to give myself the right yep. angle, would have been fine. Or you but drop I'm the remote. sitting there fucking... Yep. Oh. Or you drop the remote down a crack and life would be so much easier if you just got up. Got up, moved a little bit. Moved a little bit. Nah. But no, you're you contorting just, your hand, reaching you down, bruising breaking that your fingers, oh. trying to reach the remote. Nothing gets me angrier. Yeah. Every time every time Jen comes over and we're sleeping, I don't know why, but I always chuck the remote on her side mm-hmm. and then I get like annoyed. I'm trying to look for the remote for like fucking 10 minutes because I've left it on her. Oh, what was that? On her side. I don't know. I heard a door. Yeah, open. I don't know. Yeah, and I I'm just, just I'd, rather than just getting up and looking, I'm like, where is it? Yep. And it's just, if I had taken the extra time to do it, I wouldn't be this angry. But then on the a plus side or like a flip side, even if it's got nothing to do with doing it correctly, if I just start dropping shit or I'm clumsy for no apparent reason, I'm pissed. I'm st- like, if I'm coming up the stairs into work and I drop something on those stairs, oh. I. Th- my day's ruined. It's always worse when you've got like a single strap like bag on, yep. like a duffel bag or just one strap of a backpack because you bend over and that shit falls forward over you as you pick oh. it up. And then you're like trying the to grab worst. a pen with when you've already got a phone in your hand and you can't... Oh, I guess you're unnecessarily angry, man. The the bag strap that you were just talking about, that pisses me off. Yeah. You're bending over and the shit... Yeah, it goes <laughs> forward. your shoulder Bro. and you're like, Oh. Get back and if you just put it on the ground, it wouldn't be a yeah, problem. Yeah, or you just put the second strap over. But you're carrying other shit. Oh, it's unreal. Gets me riled I up, can't man. Can't deal with it. Yeah, good. As long mm. as we're on the same page, mm. I think we're chilling. Yeah. But that's three of Josh's pet peeves, and then ne- you keep a lookout now because it's going to be little things that you're going to do, and you're going to be like, that pisses me off. Uh, we spoke about something earlier, which I found was like a little bit of a pet peeve actually. But yep. I'm not sure if you're going to bring it up later or no, I'm, like thirst trap related. Well, we'll just lead into that. You start with it, mate, and I'll... Or do you want me to start with I it? I mean, if you want to start with it, it doesn't really matter either way. I'm just ticking off these so I don't talk about them again. Yeah. Actually, I got... Nah, fuck it. We'll do that next week. All right. Thirst traps. Yeah. 
I seen a photo. I was, it was with, we're at, I can't remember where. I was with your brother, though. Yeah. And I seen a photo come up. And this chick was dead ass. She was on IG. Mm. Like, legs both up in, I don't know if it was underwear or bikini or whatever. The camera focus was her crotch in the photo. And she's sitting there with, like, a bra on, I don't know, bikini, underwear. It doesn't make a fucking difference. They're all the same. Mm. And she's sitting there with her legs spread like this, taking a photo, and, and the angle is pointing at her crotch. Mm. And I'm like, when the fuck did that become socially acceptable? Mm. Like, how bad are thirst traps getting these days? They're like, getting desperate because OnlyFans is a thing. And like, like, and you need to be hot. So, like, if a a ugly dude's posting a thirst trap, you get <laughs> absolutely flamed. Yeah, like I no. just can't. There's double standards for hot people, like hot guys or hot girls. If a guy's hot, he can do what the fuck he wants, mate. Mm. Girls love it. If a guy's not hot, he's getting flamed, and I mean vice versa. Girls yeah. just have a bit of a free reign, I think. When it comes to thirst traps, yeah, yeah. thirst. I traps. mean, until you go on TikTok, and then TikTok, the comments oh. are just unreal. <sighs> yeah, TikTok comments are goated. Yeah, like. I can't. It's the funniest thing ever. I'll jump straight to the comments. Sometimes I, I see a video, yeah, like a video and I'm like, I don't want to watch it. The video is not even watch relevant. Video. You need to watch the first two seconds and you're like, I know exactly where this is going. And you yeah. go straight to the comments. And it's and it doesn't disappoint. No, nah, it doesn't. There was a stage where it was a bit annoying because everyone was like, story time. And then they kept saying the same shit over and over again. Mm-hmm. But um, no, nah, it's goaded. But uh, while we're on the topic of fast traps, <laughs> I've been noticing a lot recently. Oh, we're no. both really fucking tight. I've been noticing a lot recently. Like, you know how girls post those fucking first traps and it's like their hip or their leg or like yep. their left collarbone or what? Like, Out of nowhere. And it's supposed to be like, I, I, can, I guess I can guess it's part of like the female body is amazing and it's sensual and whatever it is, it's really, really. And it's clearly like a, a type of first trap. But when I see that shit, man, all I'm thinking of... <laughs> Is Aww. like the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, <laughs> and this bitch is trying to build like Exodia, the fucking Forbidden <laughs> One cunt, like the left arm of fucking Stacy, the I did right not pick front. You turning this, into that, <laughs> the right, <laughs> the right arm of the, this fucking person. This bitch is trying to build like blue eyes, white Britney. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I don't understand the point of these thirst traps. It doesn't make any sense. I reckon you got to find someone on Instagram and just stitch them together and create I'm going to because I literally... It's Blue like, eyes, white Britney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're sending a photo it's like just their <laughs> hip bone and I'm like... Yeah. 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 I mean, I can kind of understand if they've got like a little tattoo there that's kind of Yeah, hot, but it's but just like... Even then, it's like I don't want to see half your hip there and then the next one's... Yeah. I'm just going to start taking sh- photos of my kneecap or something. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But girls get away with it. You see a guy post a picture of his fucking shoulder. Just his shoulder. You're like, you're a weird, like... I'm sitting there, I'm like, you're a fuckwit, mate. Yeah. Like, what are you doing there? Yeah. Or, uh, like, some of the shit I see, like that swag boy Gorringe on TikTok. He's great, by the way. I love Daniel Gorringe. Yeah. Um, but there's, like, cringe just, guys. That Connor guy, where it's, like, point of view, you, you see, like, me, your boyfriend, get angry for the first time, and he's just like... No! I <laughs> know, oh, he's like, when daddy, daddy, gets, daddy angry. gets angry. I was like, daddy you was, see your daddy boyfriend rage at a video game, and it's like, in brackets, hot. And I'm like, oh my god, man. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know what fucking goes through some guys' heads, or what, how you get this confidence to like, do shit like that. Dude, they need back, like, because oh. I will flame, if any of my mates post a video, like a thirst trap video like that, I will Put you on blast, bro. You need like we need to ask FM back where you can get roasted by a nonze. Like, just yeah. people need to be humbled. I think that was savage though. I, ask FM was brutal. I, remember, like, I got in bullied high school. the fuck out yeah. of that. I was fat in high school too, bro, so I used to get absolutely flamed. On I ask I'm so glad I can't find the photo, but I posted <coughs> the worst, the worst photo, like beanie. Long fucking fringe, dyed red gun. Oh my god! It's not on my Facebook or anything. It's not in messages. Yeah. I feel like another photo you're talking about though. There's a couple. I I did post some fucked up photos, but this one here, I am so glad it's (laughs) non-existent, bro. That was gay. I had a fake lip piercing, bro. Yeah, fake lip. Yeah, man, it was bad. 
I was fucking oh. desperate to get attention from people. Eh? It was it was fucked. I once threatened to kill myself mm. to get attention from people. This is when it's I was fucked. 13. I yeah. cut myself for attention. Did you? Yeah. Okay. In like year seven, I think. I remember back in um, it's either primary school or the early high school. Yeah. Where I used to go into the toilets and get water and put it on my cheeks. <laughs> and pretend I was crying. Bro. I walk out and I was crying. <laughs> I was down. Bro, bad. just cry. <laughs> I probably could have too because I was yeah. I was bullied. I was a target in high school. Eh? I was like in primary school. I was a little fat kid. I was just yeah. Look at me now. Still fat. Still fat. <laughs> yeah. Just don't give a fuck now. Yeah. It's for a reason. I think, yeah. But anyway, first traps. Girls, what the fuck are you doing? Like Girls and guys, I yeah, guess. Yeah, guys. But girls get away with a bit more. Guys' thirst traps are different. No, they, girls' first trap is like, post your ass, post your tits. Yeah. Post your legs, post your feet, I guess. <laughs> That's like, you can do anything and it's like a thirst trap because it's... If it's an aesthetic picture, I get it. Yeah. For guys, the thirst trap is, you need to be candid shirtless around like you can't be you can be shirtless but you have to make it look like you shirtless isn't the point of the picture that you're just doing you yeah or the first don't be that is, cunt on tiktok that's shirtless cutting wood yeah yeah or you be for or you be uh with your dog or yeah dog like that sort of thing i'm looking at dogs at the moment yeah as am i i'm um i'm tossing up between like an australian shepherd or like a kelpie or yeah aussie shepherds are cool i like them yeah. I'm thinking Chalky Lab. I want mm. Chocolate Labrador. Thank you. I just don't... I've, I'm trying to pick out names. Call him... We talked about this in one of the first podcasts. Requees. Requees? Yeah. Or Dequavion. Dequavion's good. It's a good name. Defica de Homine. <laughs> that yeah. TikTok series? Yeah. We talked about this, I think, on one of the first podcasts. About small dogs and big dogs being turn-offs and turn-ons. Mm. And I've just got more clarification from absolutely everyone I've ever talked to that, like... If they, if I'm on the have beach like, with like, cause I'm not, I'm not fat, but like we're not fat by fat standards, but by our standards, we're a bit fluffy at the moment. Mm. But if I'm walking on the beach, like I'm built with my little chalky lab, bro. Tell ya, ain't not one person on that beach is not. Bro, I think at it's me. also how you pull it off, cause if you're fucking looking like, <coughs> you know, a chiseled Greek god, and you're walking around with like a sausage dog or a freaking like Shih Tzu or whatever, but you're like, you don't give a fuck. Nah, if you got a shit to, you're a fuck. Sausage dogs, women like sausage dogs. Girls love Dude, it. Sausage dogs are fucking cute. They are adorable, bro. I love yeah. sausage dogs. I probably own a sausage dog like that. Shih Tzu, no. My dogs are Shih Tzus, and I refuse to take them I outside. I think the, all, the best, the best. They pairing. come out the front while I'm yeah. out the front of my house and put them inside. <laughs> the best pairing of dogs is gonna be like a small one and a big one, eh? <laughs> like a Great Dane and yeah, a sausage bro. dog. Yeah, bro. One of my other mates used to have a sausage dog in a black lab, and okay. like that sausage dog would like get bodied. Nah, she was the bully, eh? Oh, really? Yeah, she'd like lie on top of the lab all the time. Like it was, it's a cute pairing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I just want, yeah, see, that's the thing, bro. Do I want two chalky labs? Brother and brothers? Or I whatever? want like, or do I just want the one? I think I want two different breeds. Okay. So I want like, a, maybe like an Aussie Shepherd and maybe a lab. Or like an Aussie Shepherd and, um, I don't know. Because mm. there's so many mixed dogs as well that look yeah. cool. And you don't want to buy mixed, but sometimes you do. Like, See, I never used to be, like, a huge fan of staffies and stuff, but, like, <laughs> there's some beautiful staffies mm. I've seen now. But people, like, people say you shouldn't buy mixed breed dogs because they're obviously mixed breeding. Like, they're forcing them. And I'm like, well, what if it's, like, an it's unfortunate occurrence and, like, that dog just got pregnant? That dog happened. Now you're just letting this dog go to the street. Yeah. You could get some fucked up dog breeds, eh? Right. Imagine a great day. Hugs is cruel to own. Yeah. They can't even breathe. Yeah. Imagine like a Great Dane fucking a chihuahua. How do I know you're going to say that? <laughs> yeah. How, how does that biologically work? I don't know. That'd be like thrusting a six-year-old. The chihuahua has to be the guy. I'm going to probably bleep that out, by the yeah. way. Yeah, the chihuahua has to be the guy. I'm going to make situation. note that at 38 minutes and 23 seconds. <laughs> you just talked about. Thrusting a six-year-old. That's not great. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we got to that. Thirst traps. That's right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm that keen. It's a bit harder for a guy. You gotta be a, bit, a little bit more intelligent with um. Yeah, you just gotta be smart the way you do it. I guess. Whereas girls can just post a blatant thirst trap, and mm. like I don't like it's obvious what they're wanting, but yeah, I get it. With guys, you need to be a little bit more. The fact that you're shirtless or the f- like, if like I see girls like backs, muscly backs. Mm. That's funny because I I'll post like 
like guys who go to the gym, they'll post gym selfies. I know when I post a gym selfie, it's like you're a fuckhead. Like people will think you're a, you're a dickhead, but now I'm like I went through stages. At first I was posting it because I was like that fuckhead. Then I stopped posting it because I was like I seem like a fuckhead. And now I'm like, bruh, like. See, I post it because I just don't give a fuck. I've been yeah, say. like I've been putting in the work. Yeah. You know, people go on a holiday and they post it because yeah. they've worked hard and now they've gone on a holiday. Exactly right. People get a new car, they post it. Work for the body, mate. May as well show it off. No shit. Show off your work. Yeah, I get that. That's a good. That's a way to look at it. Yeah. Good way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I at some stage I was like, oh, people are going to judge you now. I just don't give a fuck. Why? Like, what what does their me? opinion matter? Yeah. Like, all I care about is, and you guys will blatantly roast me if you think it's a photo. Mm. Like, oh, 100%. Give bleep you. that. Um, but, yeah, it's um, it's just, yeah, stupid. So, anyway, you're keen for a dog. I'm just writing notes of what Just as where to bleep. We've been editing. really bad. I think it's because we're tired. Absolutely knackered, bro. I'm it's huge falling weekend. asleep as we're Lucky talking. we've got four days and we're off again for three. Oh, thank God for a long weekend, day. Eh? Yeah. Absolutely keen. I haven't really... I mean, other than other than what we just spoke about... Well, i got a bit of a story, mate. You do? I think you know what I'm talking about. There's, there's one or two that I'm thinking of. You want, me, you want me to read off your phone? Oh! Yeah. My phone's about to die. I can't. I can't log in on my uh, Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get it up. So you guys sent in a story. Once again, we've had some listeners send some stuff in. And um, actually got a couple. We do have a couple. Um, this one's really long. So maybe we save it and we try and break it down and learn how to like maybe summarize it a bit better because it's pretty long. I mean... It's up to you. I feel like it takes away from the... I'm trying to see if I can... I can't log in. All right, yeah. I'll give it to you. Off you go. Let me Read. have a look how long this is and I'll... It is long. Is really long. Okay, it's not that long. Okay. It'll take me like a minute or two to read it. Right. Bear with us, though. All right. And it's <laughs> straight into it. Straight yeah, it is into straight it. Straight into, into it. Straight and into it's it. It's a the non. title. She's, <laughs> honestly, she's titled we it. roasted someone last week, not roasted, but said it was a bad storytelling. We've got a title, clear set paragraph. So we've got an, we've got an introduction, first body paragraph. We've got a thesis statement. Second body paragraph, third body paragraph, fourth body paragraph. Fifth, Fifth body sixth. conclusion. Yeah. Sorry, it's a long story. A contents page as well. Yeah. We <laughs> He's got page got, one. Page we've got two, credits on it. Chapter one. Anyway, far away. All right. The curse of the magic pussy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Before I start, I would like to say that I don't think I have a magic pussy. Look. <laughs> I feel like if you... The fact that you named it yeah. The Curse of the Magic Pussy you got to Otherwise you think you have a magic pussy. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. It's a long story, so I'm going to try and stop cutting in. Yeah. I believe it all started when I lost my virginity card. Now, I didn't lose my virginity to a boyfriend like most girls did back at my age, but instead to a Tinder hookup. To set the scene, I was talking to this guy for a while before we decided to meet. The conversation was just your normal small talk, nothing out of the ordinary. When it came around to the time we first met up, he, ins- he ins- insisted on meeting at his house as his parents were away. I was a little naive to think we were simply going to hang out. I get there and, and it's I get there and it's a bit awake. Awkward, I'm assuming. A bit awkward, but that was to be expected. He offered me a drink and then we proceeded to sit in front of the TV while the cricket was on. Just Mint. quickly. Watch the Big Bash League. <laughs> Fantastic. Netflix Hopefully it was a chill. test series. Big Bash and Chill. Can't think of anything better than watching the England Australian uh, Test I series. I love the Ashes, mate. Do you? I'd rather fucking shit my hands and clap. Yeah, I'll have it on the background. Yeah, it's got a white noise to go to sleep to. There was a, <laughs> there was a classic small talk and whatnot, and then he placed his hand on my upper thigh. At this point, it was dead obvious that what was about to go down. Damn. We hooked up, and then we made our way to his bedroom. Next body paragraph. Mm. First red flag was he had a single bed. Fair. I at think that age, how at the age you're having sex, yeah, you should probably get out of your single bed. Yeah. Depends what time she, what age she lost a V card though. But like, yeah, I mean, if you're 13, like, okay, maybe not. If you're 17, then 13 apparently. 18, you know? yeah. Who knows? Yeah, okay, fair. Was I actually going to lose my V card in a single bed? Well, it seemed that would be the case. We start hooking up a bit more, and clothes are starting to come off. With not a lot of room to move in the bed, we started the deed. Now I wasn't expecting to not feel anything, but that's indeed what happened. 
I would like to say that he was definitely the smallest I've had to date, but I don't think that was the problem. No joke, it was four pumps and it in and he'd finished. Now he was at now he was eighteen at the time, so eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, and had been with a few girls to my knowledge, so I didn't think of it I didn't think it had anything to do with him not being able to last. We put our clothes back on and I proceeded to leave. Okay. Next body paragraph. Mm. Later that day, I received a message from him apologizing for how long he didn't last for and that he mentioned that he'd never had sex with someone that had a pussy that felt like mine before and that he struggled to not come as soon as he put it in. I simply put it down to, as an excuse, I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt and see if it was going to be any different. We decided to meet up again and sure enough, he made it to six pumps. My boys doubled. Dude, he's 1.5, <sighs> that shit. Exactly. Respect, my dude. Yeah. Six pumps and he was done. I decided that was going to be the last time I went there. He then spent the next five years constantly messaging me on every platform of social media like a full-blown psycho stalker. We ended up sleeping together a few years ago just because it was an easy hookup. Brackets, not the best idea. And sure enough, he couldn't last again. Mm. He used the same excuse that he'd never been with someone with a pussy like mine. Fourth body paragraph. <laughs> To the next guy I slept with, and yes, he was also a Tinder hookup. This time I decided to do a bit of investigation before I headed up, ended up in his bed. I sussed out that he was indeed better hung than the first guy. Stop body shaming. My dude can't help that he's got a small penis. I was about to say, man was built. He was built with, with a, what he was built with. Yeah, and we absolutely roasting him now. I mean, mm. give the guy some... There's no need for it. Nah, none. All right was better hung than the first guy I'd been with, so I was definitely keen. I met up with the guy at his house, and it was pretty much your classic Tinder hookup. We got down to business, and this time with a bit of foreplay, which is always handy. Key? Mm -hmm. if I was If I was to time how long he lasted, I would probably say 20 seconds. He was all embarrassed once he finished and said that he was sorry, but he'd never had a pussy that felt that good before. I was honestly beginning to think that this was just what guy said every time. Again, I grabbed my things and I left. Um, Just on that, Yep. It's likely. <laughs> it's likely what? If a guy, like you think about the best way to try and excuse yourself and make a girl feel good that you've come quickly. You just tell them they've got to... Sorry, you're so attractive, you make me nervous or whatever it is. Like, yeah, or you just... Insert... Excuse never yourself. had a pussy like yours before. Yeah, it could be. Copy, paste, fellas. It seems like <laughs> a very... Yeah, from... Anyway, go on. I was beginning to think that I was never going to enjoy sex and that porn was really over-exaggerating how long sex would last for. I decided to wait a while before I it went does. back on Tinder. It does. By the way, yeah. porn over-exaggerating. It gets to a point where it's like... I don't really watch it anymore just because of that point. It's not even enjoyable. No. As in like, after about, you know, like... Bro, you look at... There's like one hour long porn videos. Yeah. Bro, you're fucking... Not happening. Snack... They have like snack breaks and like rehydration breaks during those shoots. Yep. And you're expecting to last 60 minutes straight of just... Mm. Every position under the planet. I mean, yeah. At that stage, surely it just hurts. Yeah, I don't think, like, I mean, there's always lube, but I don't even think yeah. they could, the girl but could like, stay wet that long, bro. That's what I mean. And at, at what point you just be like, all right, we've done every position at four times over now. Like, yeah, it's the yeah. same thing. But yeah, anyway. Porn is an exaggeration, so. It's acting. I decided to wait a while before I went back on Tinder. My next hookup was actually with one of my best friend's cousins who I know it had been around and was definitely experienced in the field. We ended up hooking up at a party and then went back to his. I was really hoping this was going to be the time where sex was going to last for at least five minutes. Yeah, I was wrong, wasn't I? It was definitely longer than the previous guys, but it wasn't even a minute. This guy was so confused and I could tell he was trying to laugh it off. He then begins to say, Wow, your pussy is something else. I've never felt anything like that. I ended up staying over and snuck out in the morning. Conclusion. Between now and then, I've been with a few other guys and the same thing happens. They all come back for more and never seem to leave me alone. <laughs> if, I remember correctly, ended up, what? if I remember correctly, she roasts her fucking boyfriend too. Uh -huh. Go, keep going. Most I've ended up blocking because they never seem to stop messaging me to meet up. And that really gets annoying after a while. <laughs> she does. Even now with my current boyfriend, he says the same and struggles to last. We found ways 
to make sex go a bit longer, but I can honestly say I've never had sex for longer than 10 minutes due to my brackets, quote unquote, magic pussy. 10 minutes? <laughs> she put her boyfriend bro, on the that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I was laughing because I knew that was coming. 10 minutes isn't too bad. But, <laughs> I, dude, is sex even enjoyable? Also, just is quickly, sex even enjoyable, bro? Like for her? Oh, for her, yeah. I was gonna bro, say, if you hell. blast in like thirty seconds, if it's that good, surely you can just go for round two. Yeah. So just give yourself a couple of minutes and go again, especially if the pussy's that good that you want to come back for more. Yeah, but in that. saying that, the previous story we read like last week, man was saying he came quickly because he didn't want to smash. Yeah, he said he lied though. Yeah, so I'm saying. Maybe every guy's been like... Oh, maybe they're smashing and they're like, nah, this is not it, are Yeah. You? Or maybe they went soft. That's a like, thing to think about. Maybe they're, they're talking nervous. shit and they're telling you they've... Yeah, maybe they went soft because I'm nervous or they went into it or whatever and they're like, I just came. We said this last week as well. Normalize going soft sometimes. Mm. So maybe they're just not Maybe. Into it. Or maybe you do have like, a magic pussy. But either way, thank you for sending it in. <laughs> that was uh, a big story. <laughs> that was a big... St- Detailed. That- you know how long that took me to read? How long? Too long. Yeah. We're at 50 minutes, mate. Gee, what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we can leave it at that. That magic... Are we closing out with a magic pussy? Quickly, though. Imola this weekend. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll finish... This is completely... Not change of everything. Also completely changed later. Because we don't... We got farted in the vicinity of <laughs> twice in the last two days. Killed. No. In a day. In a day. Today. We're at the gym. Doing our fucking shoulder press. Yep. Someone let it rip and just walked past. And like, it brother. Smelt fucking bad, Consuming bro. at least 400 grams of protein. Man was day. definitely hitting his intake of yeah. creatine and protein. And then, this, this uh, quote unquote sweet lady in front of us at H&M dropped her guts and just left. Legit. Just left. And Melanie's like, I'm like, bro. Did she just drop her guts and, and it just hit us? And I'm losing it, because it happened twice that day. It's fucked. I'm part CO2 now. Pet peeve? In my skin. Methane. Pet peeve? Pet peeve is people farting <laughs> in my vicinity. I feel like I feel like you kind of know if a fart's going to stink or not, though, eh? Yeah. Like, I reckon before I fart, I can gauge. I'm like, nah, this is not going to be a good yeah, one. Genuinely, if it's loud, it doesn't smell. Yeah, but if it's silent... If that shit comes out like air... Then you're like, then you're in danger. You're like, oh no. That's when you got to gank the line and leave. Yeah. Especially if there's uh, some females around you and you don't want to be embarrassed. Yeah. Just Mm. quickly, mate. You got a Coke, no sugar there. Mm. Now, I was a big advocate for Coke, no sugar. I I don't want to, I don't know how I feel about saying this publicly. (laughs) Yeah, look, you're not wrong. Uh, I was going to say, Sprite, no sugar slaps as well. Sprite, no sugar slaps. Nah, I'm going to say it. Pepsi Max, man. (laughs) Fucking Pepsi Max has taken the reins over Coke, no sugar, and I don't know how I feel about it. It Fucking hits different, man. I don't know if it's because I've had Coke, no sugar. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Fuck your tablet. Is your phone still recording? But anyway, I don't know if it's because we've been having like Coke, no sugar every day, pretty much every day for like the last however many years, now two years, that I'm just sick of Coke, no sugars and I had a Pepsi Max and it just hits differently. But now I'm like, I think I just prefer Pepsi Maxes. And he's cracked one open because he just loves it that much. Oh, man. Yeah. It just hits differently. Bro. Just hits differently. I actually can't even explain how good that tastes. Eh? Yeah, we'll say it into a mic. I can't right? explain how much better that tastes in a Coke No Sugar. It's just better. It is. Like in every way possible. It I don't shits know. all over Coke No Sugar at the moment. Mm. Maybe we'll have this and then we'll get sick of Pepsi. Yeah, probably. Sunkiss No Sugar Slaps, Solo No Sugar Slaps, Sprite No Sugar Slaps. A lot of the soft drinks, No Sugar, just slap. But anyway, yep, Imola this weekend, McKean, first sprint race of the season. It's wet. But three days of rain. Yep, no idea who's going to win it. Probably Max Verstappen if it's raining. I mean, Lewis Hamilton's a good driver in the wet. Yeah, but the, I guess the difference in the car. <coughs> Who knows? Yeah, but... You think if they're trying to porpoise and they've raised their car to stop porpoising in wet, they're going to have no traction. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, definitely went longer than we expected. I mean, 53, that's... 
by our standards, our last three podcasts have all been over an hour. Yeah. So this is a short podcast by our standards. It is, but we're also very, 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 very It is 11, 10 past 11 on a Monday oh. night, and we're getting up in Fuck four hours to go to the gym. Something like that, four and a half hours, we'll be up. That, that fucking pisses me off. Pet peeve number four of this episode. When you know that you're going to be getting up. I'm going to say, what do you reckon? Less than what's on my hand. If the hours I get to sleep is less than what's on one of my hands, I'm pissed. Yeah, that's about right. Because four and a half hours doesn't make five. I feel like as soon as I hit like six, seven hours, I'm like, seven's all right. If, six is, if I'm like, oh, I'm going to bed at 12, I've got to wake up at 6 a.m., I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, like if I go to bed at 10, wake up at 4, I'm chilling. Hmm. If I go to bed at, I'm not going to get home. You won't get home to at least. Basically midnight. Basically 12, and you're going to get up at 4. And by the time I get to sleep, it'll be 12.30. 12.30. At least. At least. By the time you have a shower. Oh, <laughs> let's cut this fucking podcast, yeah. boys. Thanks for watching, Thanks for watching. Guys. We'll see you next episode. Hopefully it wasn't too much of a shit show. I don't know. It fucking is what it is. It is what it is. I think you're getting used to hearing our shit now. Yeah. Anyway, so cheers for watching, and uh, we'll see you in episode 14. See you next time.